coming back to the BNS channel. So my name is EDN. Today's topic is going to be awesome, mainly uh, because it's a great reminder for me. Now, I'm going to ask you a question, and I can pretty much guarantee what the answer is going to be. Um, have you, or do you, ever become overwhelmed with your daily life? No, <laughs> never. Okay, so here's the deal. Nowadays, and I, you know, I'm only speaking because I'm, I'm in my 40s and I know what nowadays brings. I also know what it was like when I was younger, um, only from a child's perspective, right? Or from what my parents have shared with me. Nowadays, life is so stinking fast that I believe we seem much busier than we actually are. Um, we're trying to always catch up with things. We're always trying to um, fit things in different time frames. And it's just, it becomes crazy. And you know what? I'm not ever going to say that our older generations or other generations for that matter weren't busy because I'm telling you they were probably a lot busier than our, than us in a physical aspect um, you know so I, I'm not going to compare I'm only going to talk about you know what I know so my thing is that when we become overwhelmed what tends to happen is one of two or three things uh, typically a lot of us will shut down okay so when you're feeling like you just can't do it you can't do it all you can't handle it you can't focus you can't organize and those things just seem to keep piling up and piling up there are some people that will just shut down like completely and say you know what if I can't do any of it or all of it I can't I won't do any of it then there's the others that just are buzzing around like a bee, able to multitask a million things at a time, and seem to have it well put together, but their mind is not, I mean, for lack of better terms, kind of going crazy. I mean, you get so many things going on in your head and you can't keep track of it, so now, you might seem like you have it all under control, but nothing is getting completed. Or if it is, you're only giving it half your effort. And so it's not being completed well, or it's not being completed at all. So there's the two broad spectrums, okay? Either you, I mean, there's three, I suppose, because you can be the person that can do it all and organize it and be perfect and, and all of that. I don't think there's a lot of us like that. Um, or you can be somebody that just tries to get it all done get it all done get it all done and it just doesn't get done or you don't do it at all so here's a couple things that I want to share with you um, things that I've done in the past things that I've read that work um, and training that I have gotten uh, that help with these feelings of being overwhelmed so the first thing you have to ask yourself is Am I truly overwhelming over something that I have control over? Because first of all, if you don't have control over the situation, then it no longer becomes an overwhelming thing. It becomes how are you mentally adjusting to it? And that's it. Okay. So if it's something that you do not have control over, we're not talking about that in this video. Um, because that is a complete mindset thing. So now let's say, okay, yeah, I do have control over the situation. I have control over my time. I have control over my mindset. So therefore, now I have to determine its priority. So once you've determined the priority of the items that you're feeling overwhelmed about, 
then you actually have the ability um, to work on it a little bit more. Okay, so let's not get too far ahead and let's not get confused and overwhelmed. <laughs> um, so let's stop for a moment. And that's one thing that needs to be done when you're feeling overwhelmed. Stop for a moment. Give yourself time to process, to think, to refocus, and re-energize. Half of the time, probably more than half, that is all our problem. We don't take the step back, take a deep breath, and look at the situation, itemize what it is that is overwhelming you, and then prioritize. The only way that you can itemize and prioritize is to take a step back, take a deep breath, and refocus. And the funny thing is, is even while I'm doing this video, I'm thinking about all of the things that I want to share with you and having done that physical thing of just taking a step back in your mind, taking a deep breath puts me in a completely different mindset, a different focus, a different feeling in my body. So if you haven't done it yet, <laughs> I'm going to suggest that you do it even right now so that you know what it feels like. So you take a step back and basically what I mean by that is just stop your mind from thinking for just a split second. Take a step back, look at your surroundings, take a deep breath and re-energize and refocus and reconnect with yourself so that you have the ability to look at the situation in front of you, to now take a moment and itemize what it is that you're stressing about or overwhelming yourself about and prioritize it decide what is important here and what is not important. What am I overreacting about? What needs to be done now? Okay. So I think when we become overwhelmed, it really isn't. Some people can make it really bad. Some people can get like to the point where they just can't come out of it. And literally, if you had someone there that could shake them by the shoulders and say, come on, snap out of it. Um, but most of the time, we can do this with ourselves. We can readjust, reconnect, re-energize, refocus. And I think it's important that we do that often. When you first feel overwhelmed, when you first start feeling like things are spinning out of control, um, you just can't seem to get a grip. That's a good definition. <laughs> um, then it's time to step back. And stepping back can mean a few things. Stepping back can clear your mind for a minute, even if it's for a minute. Okay, a lot of people can't meditate. If you can, then do that because that's the best. I have a hard time meditating because my mind is constantly, constantly going. And it's hard for me to shut it down. But I can do it for a moment or so. I can say, okay, stop. Stop for a minute. I close my eyes for a quick second. I open it back up. It's almost like a jolt. And I say, okay, let's, let's start this again. Sometimes maybe you need to go for a walk. I find that walking out in nature is amazing therapy. Amazing therapy. 
even if it's 10 minutes, go outside. Get some fresh air. Talk to the trees. <laughs> talk to whoever you want to. Um, but make it your time. Refocus and re-energize. It's important. I also know that exercise, which kind of leads, this leads into that, exercise is a great form of stress release. And being overwhelmed really is not much different than being just stressed in general. So I really think that there are outlets for you to take, but I think the biggest part of this whole learning thing is to recognize that as soon as you start feeling a bit overwhelmed, no matter what the situation is, take a step back, take a deep breath, itemize what it is that you're stressing over, whether it be in your mind, preferably on paper, and then prioritize. Prioritize what it is that's important to get done now and I'm telling you, you might say, oh, but it all needs to be done now. Something can wait. And something can be done after the first thing that is done is done. <laughs> um, so there, there is definitely a prioritizing, oh my God. <laughs> Uh, a prioritization to your list um, but you have to do it okay so if you don't take that step back if you don't itemize you don't prioritize you will never get out of that whirlwind um, a feeling of emotion uh, that you get when you're feeling overwhelmed so I'm gonna repeat it one more time <laughs> take a step back take a deep breath refocus re-energize itemize your list and then prioritize it so I hope you found that this was helpful I haven't said this in a long time on my videos and I think it's due on this one um, you have to want it and strive for it to achieve it. And this goes with anything, especially what I just taught you today. You have to want that emotion of being un, un overwhelmed. And then you have to strive for it, which means that you have to do things to make it work and to make it happen. So that's the refocusing and the itemization and the prioritizing to be able to achieve it. Don't ever give up. Don't ever give in and always stay true to you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.